Hi guys, uh, today I want to show you a few tips and uh, how to uh, go from uh, maybe complex model from SketchUp uh, to Revit and uh, we will showing uh, how uh, you can easily convert maybe any uh, model from SketchUp to Revit uh, such, a, such as uh, sofas because it's a really problem to uh, make like this cushioning or something similar so but uh, it has uh, some problems uh, in the end and uh, it cannot be uh, repair or fix but uh, I will show you most uh, uh, most things you can uh, do and uh, let's so let's start to import first uh, in SketchUp if you open your SketchUp uh, program uh, you can find uh, multiple many uh, models in uh, Warhouse so if you put sofa here and uh, let's go to some nice for example here okay let's download it yes you can put it almost in the middle it will be best okay first thing first tip for um, a great or a successful import to Revit you need to explode everything if you forget to explode one thing in Revit you cannot uh, assign to that uh, some material so we need to explode it many times as uh, it is possible okay so it was exploded one but you can see we need to explode it again so let's click it on it again uh, right click explode again okay so now I think uh, we have exploded but it's not finished we need to assign uh, to all this uh, I think free materials to free uh, layers so if you can see I have created already here but uh, let's do it again okay so coheness it's uh, cushioning but we need to we can uh, delete, delete it or uh, leave it but uh, I will show you how to move it to another so as I uh, was uh, typing there it is bottom first second let's uh, uh, let's put like fabric one fabric two okay so as you can see I have three different style, type of materials just click on uh, one of these uh, right click select all the same material so you can see what is selected here on the top of right you can click on let's put it to bottom yeah uh, you can see now what is if i hide it what uh, was uh, selected okay it's good okay second again same material to fabric one right again you can see what is selected third one same fabric two okay and this uh, i want to i don't know what is it but uh, i want to assign this coiness to uh, fabric one yes so let's uh, click on fabric one click on coiness uh, delete layer and move it to current layer so to fabric one yeah all right so now uh, you can now exp you, you need to export it to DVG to AutoCAD you cannot uh, save it as SketchUp and import it to Revit it uh, won't work and many times it's uh, almost impossible to import so best way to import it to Revit you need to first export it to uh, AutoCAD uh, 
because uh, of one reason and we will showing uh, later so now export it so 3d model and click sofa for example dwg export all right okay, sorry i have it already so again sofa export yes all right um, now you need to open it in uh, AutoCAD. This is a must need a step because if you don't, uh, if you won't do this, uh, it won't work in uh, Revit and mat assigning uh, materials. So now I have it in, uh, uh, in AutoCAD. So let's change it for shaded, for example. And you just need to click all of this and change all layers by layer very easy step yeah so now it should be by layer yeah just save it all right now let's go to revit let's create you need to you don't uh, it won't work if you import this in a model you need to import in family so uh, create new family uh, most common metric generic model yes so just open you are in reference uh, level okay now uh, insert and import get only possibility to make it like this so always uh, leave uh, like this uh, if you check this it will be in uh, just reference level in, and we don't uh, want that we uh, want to see it in all uh, elevation or uh, 3d so leave like this and i'm uh, i want to layers pick myself so let's put specify everything should uh, stay as it is so open and now i don't want that zero maybe if you will have like 10 layers and you don't want like three of them you can uncheck them and leave a uh, just layers you want okay so let's to go to 3d all right and change it to realistic and now how you change or assign materials to the sofa you need to go to manage object style and import objects and now you can see i have global for all three uh, layers so let's go like bottom let's make it like wood or birch all right birch and uh, let's make it like fabric fabric uh, okay sorry let's um uh, i have uh, fabric material can change like a white fabric all right duplicate let's make it black and uh, I need to duplicate asset you need always do this like this all right black fabric and let's make this white fabric all right and you can see okay uh, now i want to show you if it's working i have enscape and a rendering process you can render in revit uh, how you want but you can already see a uh, biggest problem with this and uh, this is uh, yes now you can see as, uh, materials are assigned are good assigned are good quality but in these uh, areas you can see it's stretch texture is stretched up and this is biggest problem and it's almost impossible to make it work if you have like I have here uh, this uh, certain curtain 
uh, it can work because it's not straight uh, texture and you can see with these uh, models it uh, it can be uh, done in Revit I uh, I have uh, multi multiple times uh, this in my renders but uh, with sofa and this uh, kind of shapes it's uh, really uh, impossible to fix this problem uh, it's common problem now uh, in Revit from uh, another uh, programs but it is uh, I figured it out one thing uh, you can do about this but it's uh, really time consuming for me and it's uh, not a great solution but it, it is solution so if you go to AutoCAD and uh, if you if you remember this part is stretched out and is uh, in bad uh, look if you click on this and make another new layer like fabric free for example another color yeah and you assign just this one in another fabric layer it should be fixed but uh, you need to do it for every uh, wrong texture in Revit so in the end I will have maybe 20 layers and I don't find it really good solution but it is in the end some solution so save it all right let's delete this and let's import it again so again you can see I have fabric free another uh, layer all right go to manage object style import it all right and uh, I think it it was black fabric okay and now uh, I need to reset Enscape and now you can see it's fixed yeah this is stretched out this is stretched out but this is a nice now but you can see it here 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 on the cushioning also so in the end you will have like 20 layers but if you want to have really uh, like for example this sofa um, this is only way to make it work in Revit this is only solution how to fix this material and texture problem it is common problem but you know it uh, still in maybe fixing in um, new Revit I don't know but uh, this is only way how to maybe almost every model from SketchUp Warhouse uh, how to import it uh, successfully in Revit so guys this is all I hope it this is a uh, this was help helpful in uh, some way and uh, we will see next time in another tutorial or something else thank you goodbye